little shave with a blister pustule there's neutrophils and junk in the middle some sponge and some dying keratinocytes at the side uh, it's a darker skin patient with abundant pigment and some pigment dropout as happens there's inflammation in dark skin types some sponge what's going on here I first saw like the blister and then the chronic keratinocytes is like, well, I guess all the new. Um, anyway, so I was thinking like EM, SJS spectrum, but for sure. That's good to think of because you definitely. Well, I hope it's, it's herpes. Herpes, yes. Herpes, yeah. It's but I'm so glad you said. Uh, what about could it be erythema multiforme SJS spectrum? I didn't give you any clinical here, which is unfair. So this was on the penis. And it was painful uh, blisters with erythema and, and erosion and ulceration, right? So, but you are right. And I think it's a great point that if you don't know about this, if all you learn about herpes is what herpes cytopathic effect looks like, you're going to miss some herpes because sometimes the cytopathic effect is very focal or even absent on a given section. And what you might have is an ulcer with dirty necrosis and neutrophils in the base. And you may not see a blister. Other times you'll have a blister with acanthalysis, detached floating keratinocytes, but you won't see good herpes change. Sometimes you won't even see the blister and you'll just see the skin next door to the blister, which often has kind of a lichenoid inflammatory response with dying keratinocytes. I've seen one that originally I thought was going to be a lichenoid dermatitis, and then I cut deeper and there was a herpes blister. Also, if you get a deep enough biopsy, you'll see there's usually brisk perivascular superficial and deep lymphocytic infiltrate because herpes involves you know the deep nerves and stuff so it, it makes the whole dermis unhappy uh, when it when it's activated so it's not just the involvement of the epidermis here all these other things are good to know so that you don't miss herpes so in this case we have multinucleation uh, not great molding and we've got a bit of that smudgy uh, pale kind of nuclear chromatin, but admittedly, this is not like the most textbook perfect image. And then we have acanthalysis, and what I mean by that is free floating cells that are rounded up. The keratinocytes are detached and are rounded up. So anytime I see a blister with acanthalysis, with newts, with dirty necrosis, I start, start looking for herpes. And of course, your clinical suspicion is important too. And in difficult cases, you can do immunostains if needed. This case actually was uh, HSV2 um, by, uh, by the PCR swap, I believe. So herpes. And with that, have a wonderful weekend. Thank you guys. And if you're at home, thanks for watching. Look, we did uh, 18 cases in an hour and 20 minutes. That's not too bad for me. All right, guys, thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you. You're welcome.